Sandra with Life Over 60. Today I'm just going to do a very quick get ready with me, how I usually get ready when I'm going outside just for the day and not for anything fancy. I usually don't wear foundation, but as I said before, I have found something that is a sunscreen with a little bit of coloring in it, and that's my BB cream. So I'm going to be very quickly just going through my makeup routine in the morning when I'm going out. The first thing that I do use is my BB cream. It, it has sunscreen. It's a daily anti-aging and it's light to medium. So I just put a little bit on my finger and I just dab it gently on my face. Just a little bit goes a long way. I put that on and I and rub it in and I was always told from when I was a teenager, I used to go to Merrill Norman. I don't know whether you remember those products that my mother used to take me there to get all my skin care and her skin care. And the technician there told me never ever pull down your skin when you're putting makeup on or any type of cream. You always brush up. You don't want to drag the skin down any more than nature is doing already. So, okay. I hope I have that right. All right, it's just a very, very light coloring because I said I really don't wear extremely heavy makeup. Now, under my eyes, if you have really dark circles, the best thing you can do is to use yellow. This happens to be, I think it's a prescriptives yellow or fish physicians formula yellow now I don't have dark under my eyes but you know aging you always get bags unfortunately unless you're really really lucky I just dab a little bit of this yellow under my eye and again never pull go from the outside in outside in and then on top of that I'm going to put a regular beige, and you know, I've had these products so long that uh, I can't even remember what this is, what, you know, because you just need just a tiny little bit. So, just put that starting from the out in. Just dab it very, very gently because you don't want to create any pull on your skin. This way. Smooth that in as much as possible. Okay, that really uh, camouflages as much as possible any bags. Unfortunately, as we get older, this is what happens. That's why we have to adjust our makeup to our age. My eye, eyebrows now are very, very light because my hair has gone platinum, so my eyebrows almost have gone platinum. And of course, when you get older, your eyebrows also, you don't have them as thick as they used to be, usually. Now, now genetics sometimes allows you to do this. This is um, blonde, and it's called Wonder Brow, and I really like this product because you can just put it on, and it actually thickens your brows a little bit. You can see this is in blonde, the color blonde. And I'm just a little more, less dense right here in the corner. Okay. On this side, I'm left-handed, so I always do the left side the best. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, what I do is I take, uh, I have a Revlon brow, uh, has a pencil and a brow brush with a little bit of blonde color on it. See, like that. So what I do is if I'm not using the Wonder Brow, I use the pencil on my brow. But now that that Wonder Brow is set, I'm just going to take this with a little blonde 
and I'm going to brush up my brow just like this. There we go. See, my brows look a lot thicker, a lot nicer, and they'll stay that way until I wash it off. Now, the hardest part for me is doing color on my eyelid because I have very pronounced eyelids. So I never ever put dark on my eyelid. I always try to put a light color on my eyelid. So this is just sort of a natural color on my lid. Sometimes I use a very, very pale pink that would be natural to my skin. And then in the fold, right here, I just put a little bit. Whoops, right here. Okay. Where's my brush? Oh, here's my brush. I just put a little bit here in the fold. Okay. There we go, just like that. And then with my finger, I blend it in a little bit. I don't like too heavy eye during the day on older women. I really don't think we should do it. And now I take my under eye concealer here. And I put just a touch on my brow up here like that just to give it a little sculpturing like that and I also have this which is also about the same thing it's by Revlon and it's a sculpture thing you know that you put up there like that if you would rather have something liquid and you don't want to use the solid cream stick okay so my uh, my uh, eyelids are done in my eyebrows and my face and now I will go to my eyelashes as and of course too because I am so white now I my eyelashes are not that thick and they're not that but I this I really love this product too it's Alme and it's um, it's called one coat thickening Alme I've tried so many mascaras through the ages and I don't know but this seems to be really good for me for my kind of of eyes okay and I just lightly swirl it lightly coat my eyelashes with this I always seem to be getting it's the worst I'm, I'm really bad with my eyelashes Okay, I don't know whether it's because I'm left-handed or whether I'm just a klutz, I don't know. That's one eye. Now the other one. Okay. I think a person's eyes are so important. I always notice when I meet somebody, I notice their smile and their eyes, don't you? It really is important. I've always had these Betty Boop eyes or bug eyes with the, the large lid, so I have to be really careful. Now, I do not line the bottom of my eyes. Um, I don't know why, but for me, it just seems a lot better. I just take my mascara and I just gently brush it over the lower eyelashes just to give them a little bit of color because so often when you do put a lot of mascara on your eyes and the bottom of your eyes, it bleeds out. See, it bleeds out onto your just gently like that because it bleeds out onto sometimes the, your, your, below your eye and that's not very attractive at all. Okay, the final touch now is a blush, and this is a Lancome blush. Um, I use also, this is a, what's the, it's a rose color, but I like this color a lot. And also, one of my favorite colors 
is Bebop, the Chanel Bebop. I use this a lot and it's almost gone, but uh, it's 60 Bebop and I know that they change the names of their blushes from time to time, but you can go in and say, what is your Bebop? <laughs> it may be a different name, but anyway, I do that and then I just blend it in with my finger like this. Just, just gently. I don't use a whole lot of makeup. Just blend, blend it softly like this. Okay. And with my kinky, wiry hair that's so hard to control here in Florida, I think I am ready to go somewhere at least. Thank you so much for joining me. When you're over 60, you really do have to change the makeup that you use. Of course, when you're going out at night, you can do a little bit heavy, your makeup just a little bit heavier. But right now, I'm going to uh, put on some very light blush or lip gloss on my lips. I'm not going to use any color today. I'm just going to use a little gloss. My lips luckily have a little bit of color in them already they're very natural so i'm lucky to do that also but i'm sure you have your favorite lipstick that you like to use that goes with your coloring i am more of a natural person so in my idea i think less is more for me but not necessarily for you but whatever you do, always put a light hand when you're doing your foundation Always and creams. Always brush up. Never pull your skin down. And also when you're doing under your eyes, always start from the outer corner and come in. All right, that's my very quick tutorial today on how I get ready in the morning. I hope you've enjoyed it. And please come back to see me again. And join me on this wonderful YouTube journey, Life Over 60. It's the best time of our lives. We can have more fun. We're relaxed and we can enjoy life to the hilt. Take care and I really thank you for coming.